this, this is good as it gets right here. Open roads, blue skies. Oh, and one of history's most iconic muscle cars, the original Ford Mustang. Of course, if you want to live the American dream, you got to be prepared for some pain. This thing corners with all the precision of a greased hippopotamus. And the brakes? Well, I wouldn't go as far as calling them brakes. They're more like novelty items. They are that bad. But that's what Mustangs are about, getting the blood flowing, the adrenaline pumping. But the big problem with old Mustangs is this, the steering wheel, which, as you can see, is in the traditional muscle car position, the wrong side which makes overtaking a complete nightmare. Too young to die, too young to die. <laughs> but now, maybe there's a way to have your main course of muscle car without the side order of terror. Because for the first time in five decades, Ford has given us a Mustang fit for Britain the brand new Mustang GT. As you can see, the steering wheel is in the right place, on the right. This is big. The Mustang, the American Patriot. It's a British citizen now. Under this big bonnet is a proper Mustang engine, a 5-litre, 412-horsepower V8. <laughs> and to deal with that whole can't-go-around-corners issue, this car boasts another Mustang first, independent rear suspension. In technical terms, that means the back wheels are no longer holding hands. Each one can do exactly what it wants. In non-technical terms, you now have a Mustang that can do this. Look, you can go around corners without all that inconvenient dying stuff. And I'm glad to report... Cheap! The brakes are good, too. Now, since we've stopped, I might as well demonstrate one of the Mustang's more childish features. It's called Line Lock. <laughs> While I'm here, it gives me an opportunity to maybe talk about the interior. It's kind of reminiscent of the old 67 Mustang, but a lot more futuristic. Some of the materials are a little bit on the plasticky side, but on the whole, I like this. Oh, and if you're wondering whether Line Lock has any purpose whatsoever, no. So it's playful, sounds like a Mustang should, and comes with the steering wheel on the correct side. It's affordable too. This car, massive V8 and all, is under £35,000. That's less than half the price of the V8 Jaguar F-Type. So, is this, at last, the muscle car to conquer Europe? Well, there are a couple of things that just doesn't actually feel that fast. And currently averaging 13 miles to the gallon, it's not exactly economical either. This car makes Volkswagen look green. Ford, though, know this is a problem, so they've come up with a solution. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the low-fat, dairy-free, gluten-free, no-added sugar Ford Mustang EcoBoost. Yes, they've gilded the Mustang and binned the V8. This Enviro Stang is powered by, you ready for this? A 2.3 litre turbocharged four cylinder engine. But 
hold on, Billy Bob. It's not as bad as you think. It has the same engine as the Ford Focus RS, over 300 horsepower, which also means 0 to 60 in five and a bit seconds. Because it's modern and clever, it will also do 30 miles to the gallon. And it's four grand cheaper than the V8. So you get pretty much all the fastness, all the Mustangness, but with a clear conscience. This is it then, the perfect Mustang for Britain. Well, maybe not. The engine, it kind of grumbles. It tries its best to give you an aggressive sound, but it doesn't quite work. And at the end of the day, can you really see yourself walking into a dealership and saying, hmm, yeah, I'll have the EcoBoost, please? When your friends get in for the first time, they're going to look at you like you bought the wrong car. And that's the problem. Maybe the new Mustang, either of them, is just too nice. Yeah, it's fit for Britain, it's easy to live with, but if you want a Mustang that's easy to live with, do you want a Mustang at all? Ford's changed the recipe. They've taken an American institution and added British flavor, like pouring gravy on apple pie. So, which one would I have? Easy. It's the one that's a complete nightmare, and yet still somehow the stuff of dreams. <laughs>